Hello and welcome to Rapid Bytes. Today we're going to show you how to create a checkout page. Rapid is an API first company, and here in Rapid Bytes, we'll show you how to work with our API to accept, hold, and disperse funds anywhere using local payment methods. Be sure to check out our developer community in the link below where you can ask anything fintech and chat with other developers. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. Uh, let's get started. Uh, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, as I said, today we're going to create a checkout page with the Rapid API. You may have seen our checkout integration video uh, or some of the walkthroughs. That's a great full walkthrough for integrating your checkout page. I'll post it in the link below. Um, amazing video to, to work through every step but today we're just going to look at the API in Postman and walk through some of the steps. Our checkout page is one of the most commonly used hosted pages, among other pages, including save card details, save beneficiary details, uh, and more. And, and I'll put the links in the description as well. But as for our hosted checkout page, which we'll be looking at today, one of the most popular products and one of the most simplest way to add more payment methods for your business with a checkout page, the hosted checkout page, you could add hundreds of payment methods right off the bat uh, and add more as you grow your services, services with Rapid. Um, you could specify uh, a specific uh, type of payment um, or uh, include different payments and they also filter depending on your country. Uh, so right here, uh, I am on the use case guide uh, doc for the hosted checkout page integration steps. So this will show you how to walk through and all the steps. If you go above, there's our checkout page, which has the also toolkit integration overview, as well as the hosted page. And of course you can see the individual pages. I'm going to head over to our checkout page object on our reference guide for all the fields and the descriptions of each uh, field name in the object and if you go to the checkout page uh, API call which is a post uh, call you could see all of the different features that are included uh, for different uh, payment methods that you could use um, that shows the uh, different uh, requests and the responses and so I will go over to the next page which is the supported languages that are offered for the checkout pages. You can check them out. There's an API call list, checkout page supported languages. Uh, of course, today we will be working in English, but you could use all of these languages for your checkout page. And then we will also use today list payments uh, as well as we are grabbing the payment that is completed. Another call that we will use is retrieve checkout page. Uh, just to show how the payment ID will show up after the payment is made. So I'm going to head over to Postman and we can get started. And so first thing I'm going to do is actually list payment methods by country. And so today we'll, we'll do just TH for Thailand and I'll send that call. And so here are the different payment methods for Thailand. I'll, I'll just look for let's say just a simple card so visa card I'll, I'll make sure to grab that and then we'll head over to create a checkout page uh, okay and so we have customer and guest I'll do the guest first and so this is of course the option when customers choose guest we'll do let's say 45 and TH, uh, I believe it is Pot, uh, but we can actually check it out. List currencies. Oh. Yeah, it is Pot here. checkout page and so here we have the amount the complete payment URL is where the URL will be will redirect the customer will be redirected after 
they complete the payment altogether. So something like bank redirect or an e-wallet or even cash, they'll complete it on the third party website or login and this is where they'll be redirected. Of course, error payment URL is where they'll be redirected with if there is a payment error and then complete checkout URL, that's directly after they hit complete or finish on the checkout page. So that could be something like card where they input their card information, click finish, it'll go to that website. And, and then I'm gonna head down, of course we have language, right here is EN for English and the payment method types. If you do put a payment method type in here, so I will put the Visa card, this will be the only thing that shows up. Uh, and then of course you could put multiple. Uh, let me put actually one more, uh, something like, uh, here there's this bank. And so you can just have the example of two, two payment methods used and of course actually if you put nothing it'll offer all the payment methods available for that for that country for what you have and the expiration date we'll just put zero and if you want to exclude anything specific you could put it here uh, and it won't be on the page so I'll hit send and here is the redirect URL we could click that and it'll go to the site, but actually I'm going to retrieve the page. Retrieve checkout page, and then I'll paste in the checkout ID, which I grabbed right here. And I'll hit send. And so here, uh, again, you have the, the same call, it's just grabbing it. Uh, what I do wanna point out is there's the payment ID here, it's null because the payment has not been made yet. And so uh, I'll make sure to, uh, oh, okay. It is, let me just pull up the page as it appeared below. There we go. And so here it is. We have the Visa card to log in and then the bank or prompt to pay. And so I will include that. I'm just typing in some test info. All right, nope, we don't. And then finish. And so it looks like the payment's successful. And then of course it has redirected to docs.rapid.net, which is, if you go back uh, in our request, uh, that is the complete checkout URL. So it's app, that's uh, where the URL will redirect right after uh, you plus finish on the uh, checkout page. And so actually we will go to, let's see, 175 or 174, okay. <laughs> um, and we will actually remove these and or I'll remove this one and I am going to not have visa uh, as an option and so put it like that and I'll show you all right and oh uh, one thing actually that we will check for the last before we make this next call check for this last uh, one you can now see the payment ID for the 45 amount and it showed up here. And you can also go to list payments uh, to just increase it to five, but it's gonna be the first one anyways, because uh, it's most recent. And so here you have the, that payment ID. So let me go back to now this uh, call for the new checkout page. And here's the redirect URL. Again, the payment ID is null. Uh, of course, it 
let me pull it up it keeps showing on my other monitor uh, and code so you have here all the uh, payment methods uh, available but American Express Master no visa because we decided not to include it and yeah and so let me actually uh, just let's do an e-wallet so or now we can do a bank so just bank Bangkok bank and then so this is just a test login I'm logging into the bank credentials to pay and going to complete the payment and so now it's completed so this is the example domain if we go back that is the complete payment URL so it's going to redirect to that URL um, once you complete the payment from that third party website so um, we can actually do list payments again and here is the 174 uh, the status is closed um, and it's the bank redirect uh, the, the bank payment and so also let's go now to a not a uh, checkout page uh, for customer and so we'll keep doing Thai and Thai bot um, and so actually we can do list customers we do have a customer that should be yeah okay uh, Thai man <laughs> uh, and they have a payment method customer and then a v yeah, visa card there we go okay and I will include actually let's include the the complete checkout URL right here there we go and then it's in English, not grab pay. We can actually just remove everything and actually this time, uh, yeah, let's actually, we could uh, just call it and it will show, All right, hold on, let me try to keeps showing up down below but I'll pull it up all right and so here you can see that the card is already saved this is a customer that we had just created um, with the Thai visa card uh, and then everything else available and so let me place the order and then this is going to go to the finish page and then it'll go to the docs page which is the complete checkout URL awesome and I will grab that payment um, oh yes yeah, we had to set it at 123 45 uh, currency THB Thai bot um, payment via checkout and then here is the payment type uh, by Thai Thai customer um, which was the name on the card so yeah um, awesome so we walked through how to create a checkout page, uh, grabbing some uh, customer payment methods, and walk through how to uh, include some of the payment methods or exclude some of the payment methods, and then grab them with the with a payment ID, retrieve the checkout pages, but also list payments as well. Awesome. To close things up, I just want to remind you if you have any questions at all. Be sure to check out our developer community on community.rapid.net. Uh, amazing 
content and just opportunity to ask anything that you want and connect with other developers. We also got some good content coming for you, some developer talks uh, that you guys will uh, love to hear and, and just check out. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, hope you have a great day.